going to be doing the one by one Lego brick, and I've gone ahead and created a new file, calls it Lego brick one by one. And we're going to get started with an extrude, and it's going to ask us to select a plane, and we're going to go ahead and select the top plane for this one. You can also select it here, but I prefer selecting it over here in the model tree. And we're going to do a rectangle. Notice it's already set to center rectangle. You can see the, the little um, icon is the same. But if it wasn't, we just drop down here and select center rectangle. I'm going to go and snap your mouse into the center. And let's make a square like this. And then middle click to get rid of it. Notice it only gives us one dimension when we do that because this is a square. And I have the uh, dimensions for a 2x4 Lego brick up here, from which we're going to get the dimensions for a 1x1 Lego brick. So we're on the top view, and what I'm interested in is the size of this square, which notice for a 2x4 Lego brick is 0.625, but that goes from this edge to this edge, and we only want from here to the center, because you can think of this corner right here as a a one by one Lego brick. You can think of a two by four as being made up of eight different one by one Lego bricks. So we're actually going to take 0.625 and divide it by two because we only want half this distance. So come back here, 0.625, and we can just do slash two to do divide by two. We fit that. And since my original square is so big, the dimension kind of sticks out, keeps it from refitting to a nice size. So I'll go ahead and drag that down, just like that. And you can see now we've got the top of our Lego brick right there. We can control D, zoom in on this. And now we need the height. And the height is going to be the same for both a 2x4 and a 1x1. We can get that from the right side view, which is going to be 0.375, which it already is right there, 0.375. I'm going to hit OK. Control D to reset the size. All right, this is going to be our one by one Lego brick. Our stud's going to go here. We'll shell out the bottom. Let's go ahead and put the stud on top. So I'm going to do that by selecting the surface and clicking Extrude. And I'm going to select a circle. We just snap it right in the center line, just like that. And about that big looks good. We just need to worry about the diameter. So we can get the diameter from this top view right here. You notice it's got an arrow. We have this little diameter, uh, this diameter icon right here, the circle with a slash through it. So the diameter, the circle is going to be 0 0.19. 0 0.19. Enter that in. I click OK, and then we need a height. And we can get the height from this front view right here, because we can see the, the height on all four of these views. We can't see the height on the top view or the bottom view, but we can on these four views, and they decided to give it to us on the front view. And the height is going to be 0 0.078. 0 0.078. And enter that in, hit Enter, and click OK. All right, so over here in the model tree, I'm going to go ahead and start naming these because it's good practice to name these. I'm going to name this one Brick, and it automatically capitalizes the whole thing. And I'm going to name this one Stud. Okay. Next thing to do is we are going to shell the bottom out. So I'm going to come over here and select Shell. And before I select on it, I want to uh, put in a thickness. So if we come over here, we can see that on the bottom view, it says shell right here. And you can see the shell thickness is 0 0.052. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in 0 0.052 thickness, and then select this bottom surface right here. You can see it says 0 0.052 thick. I'm going to select OK. And that is a one by one Lego brick. 